Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Beth and this is a reading vlog for the hashtag s'mores and mayhem. <laughs> Sorry. Hashtag s'mores and mayhem. <laughs> hashtag s'mores and mayhem. Readathon put on by Acos at Acos with K. This is for middle grade lit that is focusing on protagonists who either go to summer camp or who go to some sort of adventure, go somewhere for summer. So what I'm going to be doing is instead of filming a wrap up at the end of the week, I'm going to be coming on here at varying points throughout each day and telling you about what I'm reading and how far I've gotten and my thoughts on it, etc. And then I will start doing book reviews instead of doing a wrap up with little miniature chats. So hopefully I will enjoy doing this better than I enjoyed doing the book review wrap up things that I have done previously. And without further ado, let's actually talk about what I'm actually reading and stuff and things. Okay? Okay. Okay, the first one I want to talk about is not actually a middle grade read. But since I'm probably going to be wrapping up my Night Circus read-along, at the same time I'm wrapping up my middle grade uh, mayhem... <laughs> Um, read along, then I thought I would um, just update you on this as well. I'm about 10 pages into section three. I've got maybe 20 or 30 more to read tonight so I can get halfway through, but I'll probably just finish reading section three tonight because it's a short section anyway, and I'm really loving it. If you want to know all my thoughts, I will probably do a complete review on this when I finish it, and I will definitely be discussing each section in the Goodreads group, so I'll link all the threads down below so you can see the different things everybody has said so far. Okay, I have spent probably an hour or so today reading, and that's including the time I spent with the audiobook of The Night Circus, which annoys me because it doesn't go as fast as I read unless I put it to double speed, and then I fade out. So the audiobook for this one just doesn't work as well for me, but I love the narrator, so I'm continuing to try to give it a shot. Anyway, moving on, what I have been working on a lot is the Babysitter's Club, Babysitter's on Board, Super Special Number One. This was published in 1988, and I probably read it for the first time somewhere around 1992. I would have been in second or third grade, and I absolutely loved the Babysitter's Club growing up. I would beg my parents to take me to Walmart or the bookstore, Kmart, Target, secondhand store, anywhere I could find that might have a Babysitter's Club book. I still have a huge collection upstairs. And I mean, if you saw my haul from the other day, I bought two Babysitter Club books at the thrift store just last week. So this was definitely a great one for me to pick up for my first book for the s'mores and May for the readathon that we're doing right now. And um, I'm enjoying it immensely. I'm on page 117 out of 230. And I remember in third grade when I read this the first time thinking this was a huge book. It would take me so long to get through. It probably took me two or three days to finish this. And that was just reading every chance I could get. And I'm on, you know, 117 out of 230. I'll probably finish this today. But I will update you guys on, um, you know, when I finish it, what I pick up next, all that jazz in just a second. I was right. I did wind up finishing this. It, it's like one o'clock in the morning, but still I wound up finishing the Babysitter's Club today. Um, I had to take a big chunk of time out to get the kid to sleep. And then we have a friend of the family staying with us for a couple of days. She's moving and got all the stuff packed into the U-Haul, but still has a couple of days before she can drive across state and start moving into her new house. So she's going to be staying with us tonight and tomorrow night. And so we got her uh, suitcases and stuff moved in and it wound up being a lot later than I thought it was going to be. So I just sat down and started reading and managed to knock this puppy out. So we've had one day and one book is finished, which I feel is pretty stinking amazing. I believe when I get up in the morning that I'm going to try to read a couple of chapters out of the 
High Wizardry book by Diane Duane, and we'll probably continue on with Deep and Dark and Dangerous by Mary Downing Hahn. Okay, it is now 3.08 p.m. on the 2nd. I have only read a couple of chapters so far today, but that's because we had to go drop off books at the library, which was thankfully closed. Otherwise, I may still be sitting there while my kid read picture books and played with Legos, but that's beside the point. We had to go to the local video store and drop movies off, get drinks, go to lunch, all that jazz. And then it was uh, nap time, and so I read to her. Technically, I've read like 18 chapters today, but since a whole heap and bunch of them were in a children's book, they don't really count for this. Um, I have read two out of Deep and Dark and Dangerous, have not started High Wizardry yet. Um, I have it sitting here waiting on me. I just wanted to get a few more of the uh, Deep and Dark and Dangerous chapters read because this book is a lot shorter. And I think what's going to wind up happening is that High Wizardry gets read kind of in between the shorter books. But I did finish section three of The Night Circus and will be getting my thoughts put together and up on Goodreads in the next few minutes. So this book is great. It's not middle grade, but it's fabulous. And if you have high school students that are struggling with longer chapters and things of that nature, it's actually not a, you know, it's not an adult adult book in the sense that it's get some nasty times in there. There's no sexy times. You can just, you know, read. There are some adult themes that run through it, but it's not so bad that I feel like a high school student couldn't read it. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Y'all should read the book. I'm saying. It's Saturday night, so it's around midnight on the second, I'm getting ready to be the third. Um, so far today, I haven't gotten as much reading done as I thought I was going to do. I'm a little over halfway through Deep and Dark and Dangerous. I do want to mention a book that is by a typically middle grade and young adult author. That is Shannon Hale. She does like the Princess Academy books. And this book is a children's chapter book that I just finished reading with my daughter. And it's called The Princess in Black and the Perfect Princess Party. It is, I believe, the second in a series. There are three out and the fourth one is coming out in November. And the Princess in Black is like the perfect little princess story turned on its ear. And so she uh, is like the Zorro of princesses and she has to fight monsters. It's very, very cute. You should definitely check it out. But anyway, we've got some rain going and I'm going to go and get back to reading Deep and Dark and Dangerous. And hopefully I'll be finishing that up tomorrow. And I'm definitely going to be listening to some more of Escape from Mr. Limoncello's Library, which I was able to get the audiobook back from the library. And I will uh, definitely be finishing that this week as well. I'm really glad that that was suggested to me. It's a fun book. And I will update you guys more as the week goes on.